Hello everyone. So if you guys are preparing for a Selenium interview and want to make sure that you crack it with a confidence. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to discuss the top 15 Selenium interview questions along with their answers and detailed explanations so that you can understand the logic behind each of the concepts. OK, so yeah. So make sure you watch till the end because I will also be sharing some pro tips in this video, which will definitely help you out to answer these questions more effectively in a real interview. And if you find this video helpful, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such content on automation testing and IT related career stuffs and tips. OK, so let's get started with our first question. So the very basic question is what is Selenium? So basically uh, Selenium is an open source automation testing framework, OK, uh, which is used for web applications across different browsers and platforms. OK, so the very basic thing that you can uh, remember, like basically Selenium is not a single tool, OK, but it is a suite of tools, OK, so which includes like Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Grid and Selenium IDE. And among these, Selenium web driver is the most widely used, okay, as it allows us direct communication with the web browsers to perform any actions like clicking button, uh, entering text, or even verifying the UI elements, okay. So, this is the thing that you have to deliver in your interview. So, if you are in an interview, don't just give a textbook definition, okay. Instead, mention the real world use cases or your hands on experience with Selenium to make your answer stand out. So, this is the pro tip for this question, okay. Basically, this is a very, very, very basic question, okay. So, in this question, you have to answer it like this so that you can stand out in the crowd, okay. Let's move forward to the next question. So, the next question is What are the different components of Selenium, okay? So in the previous question also I have discussed with you like Selenium is a suit of different things. So here is this like Selenium basically have the four components this, that is Selenium IDE, Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Grid and Selenium RC. If I talk about the Selenium IDE, IDE basically stands for integrated development uh, environment. OK, so like this is and if I talk some something about these things like uh, Selenium IDE uh, is, you know, uh, a record and playback tool uh, used for quick test uh, script creation. Okay, if I talk about the Selenium web driver, which is you know the most popular one and it is most widely used component for the you know browser automation kind of thing. It supports multiple languages like Java, Python, C sharp, etc. So this is the web driver. And if I talk about the Selenium grid, Selenium grid is basically used for parallel execution. Okay, you can remember this thing very easily. Grid means we have no like you have this uh, you know idea about the grids so grid like this you can remember it's for parallel execution and the selenium rc uh, that is remote control and that got deprecated now so it is the older version of selenium web driver uh, basically it requires a server to interact with the browsers okay so this is the thing and the pro tip is like if interviewers may ask follow up questions about the differences between web driver and rcs or the benefits of using grid so prepare them to explain OK, like this, you can explain the question, other questions which are related to these things. OK, now let's move forward to the third question. So the third question is, uh, what is the difference between Selenium Web Driver and Selenium RC? OK, so this is the question uh, which I previously also mentioned. So basically Selenium Web Driver directly communicates with the browser, whereas Selenium RC requires a server to interact. So this is a very, very, very basic difference that you have to remember. OK, apart from that, you can describe like discuss about the architecture, speed, browser supports, API simplicity, execution modes and usages. OK, so I will differentiate it for you guys like in Selenium uh, RC, as I have told, we need a server. But for a uh, web driver, we don't need a server directly interact with the browser. OK, and now if we talk about in terms of speed, uh, like RC is slower uh, while the, you know, Selenium web driver is much faster. OK, and Selenium browser supports if we talk like Selenium RC browser supports, it only supports older browsers and in Selenium web driver, it support modern browsers like Chromium, Firefox, Edge. OK, these are the few differences that you can told to your interviews. And if I talk about the usage, obviously you can see Selenium RC is deprecated now and, you know, a web driver is most widely used in nowadays. OK, so this is the thing that you can answer. 
and if you uh, want a pro tip that is from this question is like uh, if any interviewer asked you about why selenium rc was replaced so mention that the web driver eliminates the need for an you know intermediate server improving performance and reducing complexity like this you can proceed okay let's move forward with the fourth questions like the question is what are the advantages of selenium so guys this is uh, you know uh, most widely asked question like if you are using two different tools or if you have mentioned uh, three four tools in your resume so at that time the interviewer can ask you what are the advantages of this tool over the this tool so like this okay so here is the answer basically selenium supports you can remember one 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 word and then you can explain it like multiple browsing programming language operating system open source tools and ci cd pipeline we can integrate okay so like this you have to remember in your mind but while explaining to the interviewer you have to proceed it like this basically <clears throat> the very first and foremost advantage of using a selenium is selenium is completely free with no licensing cost making it accessible for individuals and companies okay now moving forward with the support multiple browsers so it works with Chromium, Firefox, Edge, Safari, and Opera, and ensuring cross-browser testing. Okay, it supports multiple language like Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, uh, JavaScript, and many more. Like this, it provides cross-platform compatibility. Like it runs smooth with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Okay. And we can integrate it with other tools like TestNG, JUnit, Cucumber, Maven, Jenkins, and you know, Docker also. Okay, like this, you can mention this the advantages. Apart from that, if I talk about the non technical advantages that are like it has a large community support, support headless testing, like these, this kind of answer you can give. If uh, I will give you the pro tip for this question, like if the interviewer asks why companies prefer Selenium over paid tools like uft or any other so you can answer it like cost effectiveness uh, effectiveness complex uh, flexibility and strong community support so like this you can answer in terms of you know finances next moving forward to the another question and yeah uh, one more question can be associated with it is like uh, could you please mention any disadvantages of selenium so yeah you can prepare that question also Okay, the next question is what are the locators in Selenium? So this is a very easy and basic question. We all know locator helps to find the web elements and Selenium supports uh, these kind of uh, locators such as ID name, class name, tag name, link text, partial link text, uh, CSS selector and XPath. So these are the basic ones which Selenium supports. Okay, so you have to remember the name like ID name, class name. Uh, it will be, uh, you know, you have to mark up this. Okay, so uh, the pro tip in this question can be uh, while XPath is a powerful thing, okay, uh, prefer ID and CSS selector when possible because they are faster and more reliable, okay. So, this kind of question can be asked to you also, okay. Next, what is XPath in Selenium, okay? So, basically, we have discussed in our previous question, uh, like XPath is a locator, so same thing is written here also. XPath is used to locate elements in XML structure. Selenium supports two types of XPath that is absolute XPath and relative XPath. Okay, so if you mention all this thing, it will be helpful. Not only mentioning like XPath is used to locate element, it will not be that much impactful to the interview. Even if you mention these things like uh, it has absolute, we have absolute XPath and relative XPath, it will be you know more beneficial. Okay, and then you can also explain absolute XPath and the relative XPath, like how the structure of uh, this absolute XPath is and how the structure of relative x path is okay so like this you can proceed and uh, like in an interview uh, mentioned this thing like that relative x path is preferred over the absolute x path and you can also demonstrate an example uh, by telling that thing okay so this is it okay the next question is what is the difference between single slash and double slash in x path so basically single slash uh, represents an uh, you know absolute xpath while uh, the double slash is used to you know uh, tell about the relative xpath so this thing you have to remember okay 
and we can also tell more about like a uh, single slash selects an element from the root node okay and follows an exact path and in the case of double slash uh, it selects the element from anywhere in the document and making it flexible that's why double slash is more you know uh, reliable okay and single uh, single slash basically uh, you know uses a hierarchy so this is the thing and you can you know uh, tell the you know why we use double uh, slash rather than using single slash okay so you can mention this thing also as a plus point next question is how do you handle drop downs in selenium okay so we are having various you know uh, things like from where we can handle drop downs and so we can uh, handle the drop down by using the select class okay we have a select class in selenium uh, that is used to handle the uh, drop downs basically so we have this uh, select by visible text by index and by value these three things are there uh, which we basically used uh, in uh, our selenium okay and like uh, if interview can ask like this is a pro tip for you like interview may ask how you handle non select drop downs okay at that case how would you answer this question okay so this is the pro tip for you mention that we can use click send keys or an action class to interact with such elements where we don't have any select drop downs okay so this is the thing let's move forward with the next question how do you handle alerts and pop ups in selenium okay so uh, this is one of the most you know asked question uh, basically we have this class use switch to dot alert okay so this is used for uh, javascript alerts and accept with accept accept dismiss 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 and input text with send keys like this we can answer so we are having different different things okay uh, i will uh, tell you like uh, if we are having a simple alert okay at that time like say okay button is uh, only present there so this is the kind of simple uh, simple alert okay at that time what we can do we can directly use driver dot switch to dot alert okay and then alert dot accept this will click on the okay button if we are having another thing like okay and cancel button okay at that time also we can use it if we want to click on cancel we will write it like driver dot switch to dot alert and then dismiss dot dismiss if we are having something that is having a prompt alert that is expecting any text okay at that time we have to do dot send key method we have to use that thing and then we have to accept okay so um, other than that uh, these are the things that you can uh, use to you know handle the alerts and pop ups in selenium like this you can answer okay and uh, yeah uh, one more thing like the pro tip that i want to uh, give you uh, like uh, uh, if interviewer asks like how to handle pop ups uh, that selenium can't directly interact with okay at that time you have to answer like we can use javascript executor or robot class as an alternatives okay so this is the thing that you can mention in uh, this question how do you handle multiple browser windows in selenium okay so uh, this is the question like uh, how we will handle so basically uh, there is a method that is get window handles or to get window id and switch using switch to and then we will provide the window id here and driver dot close or driver dot quit so this is the thing that you have to mention so uh, i will tell you the step like how you have to mention the very first step is to get the main window handle that we will uh, get from get window handles okay and to store the main windows unique identifier then uh we also have to uh, you know to get all window handles we will use get window handles method to retrieve the ids of all the open given windows okay then we use switch between windows and in this we will loop through the window handles and switch to the required window okay and then perform action and close the window whatever action we want to perform we will perform and then close our window so this is like we can uh, you know move forward let's move to the another question how do you perform mouse and keyboard action in selenium class okay uh, sorry in selenium uh, sorry i mentioned that class also so uh, the uh, we use the action class basically for performing these things uh, we use the action class and in action action class we have move to element 
dot click method, double click, drag and drop, send keys, these kind of methods we have in Selenium. Okay. So like this, we can uh, tell to the interviewer and like a uh, build dot perform to execute the actions. Okay. Like this, you have to mention anything uh, that we are uh, doing. We have to do like dot build dot perform. Right. And uh, uh, basically, uh, you can also mention one thing uh, like uh, action class is basically essential for handling scenarios uh, like drop downs sliders and keyboard shortcuts so like this uh, this will be a pro tip that you can uh, mention in your uh, you know uh, interview let's move to the next question how do you take a screenshot in selenium so for that uh, we have this method get a screenshot as okay just remember this name we have this method get a screenshot as okay uh, what is the implicit and explicit weight in Selenium? Okay, so uh, basically implicit weight sets a default time for finding element while explicit weight waits for specific condition using pep driver weight. Okay, so this is the very basic definition that we have. But if you want to explain it in a better way, uh, you have to mention it like uh, in Selenium, we use the weights uh, to handle synchronization issues between the test scripts and the web application. So basically, we are having two main kind of weights that is implicit weight and explicit weight. Other than these two, we are also having a weight that is fluent weight. Okay, so like this, you can mention this thing. Okay, so the interview will get impressed because you are mentioning the fluent weight here. Now, if I talk about the implicit weight, implicit weight, what it do, it sets a default waiting time for all elements before throwing a no such element exception. OK. And uh, like it, uh, if we talk about the usage, it applies globally to the web driver instance. OK. And we can provide it like driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait and then we can provide the duration number. OK. And if I talk about the explicit weight, uh, the explicit weight is basically used and it waits for a specific condition to met before proceeding. This is the thing. And it is, uh, you know, uh, used like it can be applied to a particular, ele a partic a particular element uh, instead of, uh, you know, applying it globally. So like this, you can mention to the interview. Moving forward to the next question. Oh, that is OK. How do you integrate Selenium? testing uh, selenium with test ng okay so like uh, how we will integrate test ng uh, with selenium so we will provide the annotations uh, like we are having various test ng annotations like at the rate test at the rate before method at the rate after method and enables parallel execution and generate detailed reports so like in pom.xml we can uh, add the dependency for the test ng and then uh, you know once we get that dependency we can use these annotations uh, and we can use it in our selenium okay so like this you can uh, proceed with the things hope you guys like this video and got something you know knowledgeable from this video and if it is just like that then kindly like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for such content and we'll meet in the next video then yeah bye bye guys